What's up, friends? It is once again the doctor, Dr. Remy LeBeau, that is, in the x -Lair, here to provide you a cure to all your illnesses associated with just not having enough X-Men statues in your life. The cure today is a very kind of sinister cure. It's an evil cure. It's a badass cure. It is Sabretooth himself, the arch nemesis of Wolverine in his street clothes version as produced by Bowen Designs last year. There have been three versions of this statue released in the last maybe two or three years. Um, this was the third statue. Uh, this is number 82 of 500, so there's only 500 of these in existence. Sculpted by Mark Newman, released in 2011. So this is the sort of statue that is sort of a, it was originally a website exclusive um, that was made to order and that means that for uh, a small period of time Bowen Designs puts something up for order for maybe like two weeks and if they don't get enough orders they don't produce it they did not get enough orders for this this version of the statue it might be because they also produced two variants one in his original costume which had a very cool base that was like a snowy, had a snowy sort of setting. Very unique, very well done. I'm sure a lot of collectors picked that one up. And then the other one was Sabretooth in his like tiger striped outfit from the 90s that Jim Lee designed, which is a design that was used in the 90s X-Men cartoon. So that one wound up being popular too. So I think people scooped that one up as well. And, and in the end, they just didn't want to get another Sabretooth statue. And also, this is the officially the street clothes version of Sabretooth, but unofficially, it's actually um, the Ultimate Universe version of Sabretooth. So there's actually an Ultimate X-Men comic. I think it's a cover, or maybe it's like the first panel on the cover, that actually has this exact drawing. And I think that's what the, um, the statue was actually based on. That was a reference art that was used for this piece. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of... There's a lot of collectors on top of already having probably other Sabretooth statues, as well as the original Sabretooth statue that was released by Bowen Designs like maybe almost 10 years ago now. Um, because of all that, there's just and because it was an Ultimate Universe version of Sabretooth, there just wasn't enough demand for it. And so I was actually kind of devastated <laughs> when I found out it wasn't going to be produced because it it was my favorite version of Sabretooth like that was sneaked that that was going to be released like. I like it. I like that he's just like in his quote unquote street clothes. Like he just looks so raw, you know. It's like Sabretooth doesn't need like all like some, you know, gimmicky costume. Like he doesn't. He's just a terrifying villain because that's who he is. That's who the character is. So you can throw him in some army pants and a and a and a wife beater and he's going to be as menacing as he is, you know, with his super elaborate kind of tiger striped or or like a fuzzy outfit you know it's you don't need all the bells and whistles that's why for, for some reason this one stood out most for me as as having the the most interesting qualities and and um and the one that i chose to have fortunately after finding out that it wasn't going to be released it turned out it was like bowen designs made a deal with diamond distributors which is sort of the company that distributes merchandise to comic book shops um, to release it exclusively through them. So fortunately, it did wind up being produced, but I had to find a retailer that was going to sell um, this statue, um, was going to get it through Diamond Distributors. I don't have a local, I don't have a comic book shop close to me, so I had to find one online. Fortunately, I was able to find one. Everything worked out, as you can see. I I got this beautiful statue and I couldn't be happier with it. If you check out my blog post, I took a lot of close-up shots of it because there's so much great detail um, in this statue. There was so much attention put into that detail. Um, I, that's why for some, that's why I feel like it's better than the other two versions. Like even though those are sort of more classic versions of the character, like I feel that as a statue, like this is this trumps the other ones as far as like impressive qualities. So just starting with the base itself is just super cool. It's actually the same base that the, sti the tiger stripe version of Sabretooth uh, statue, the Sabretooth statue has. Um, 
but this one they decided to put like some mossy like some moss on it and it just looks great man it I think it really complements this version of the statue well because he's got like green army pants so it, it's great that they even went that step further they could have just had the exact same base on all three of them but they didn't do that they chose to make each one unique um, so that is just just that is great and the and the actual base like with the pillars it's just so it's it's so it's crafted so well you know it just it looks like such a great natural environment where you would find like this fierce sort of raw like ravenous killer in you know Sabretooth is a badass you know and he's always kind of like out in the wilderness like hunting you know not necessarily for prey to eat but like just to take people down because he's a, that's just the kind of guy he is he's a terrible terrible um, individual um, and of course the the detail the attention to detail doesn't start doesn't stop with the base like just the army boots themselves beautifully crafted the pants fantastic the you've got like the straps all along the pants um, with like the belt buckles on them fantastic and then you've got like blood splatter all over them because it looks like he's just engaged in some sort of blood feud with probably Wolverine because you know they're always going at each other they can never seem to kill each other though which is good because then you would lose some great characters in the Marvel Universe but um, there have been times where you thought like Sabretooth was beheaded by Wolverine a few years ago but he's back somehow I, f I don't even know how he's actually back um, I don't know if that was explained yet but he's back he's back in action um, but uh, uh, apparently like this statue reflects him in the midst of battle I mean you can see the three claw marks on his chest and there's also three claw marks here on his arm. Like, I mean, who has three claws, right? Wolverine. Duh. Um, so he, he was in the midst of a blood feud with Mr. Uh, Logan, Mr. Howlett, as it were. Um, and this statue captures that beautifully. Um, so going beyond the uh, and the pants, you've got the awesome like belt buckle, which is like a which is a like a skull, which again mirrors the exact design from the Ultimate Universe. Sabretooth, at least in the original run of, of um, Ultimate X-Men comics. Um, beautifully done. Uh, and then he, he's got the straps on his arms, and he's got the really great uh, metallic claws with, like, blood all over them. It's just, it's done so well. Like, please check out the, the close-ups on, um, on my blog. Like, I, I, took a, and I took, like, three or four close-ups of the claws because there was just so much attention paid to the detail, and the paint job is flawless. It looks spectacular, and it just came out so beautifully. Um, and then, of course, his actual musculature, you can see it so well crafted on the arms. Like, it's veiny. It's, like, its like super cut and, like, you know, very, like, um, massive because that's that's how Sabretooth is. You know, he's just, like, this massive beast killing machine, you know. And, uh, and so the actual body reflects that really well. And then you've got this really cool like wife beater that's kind of like ripped up and like and like and it's all like wrinkly in the right places and and just like um and just dirty and a little bloody and kind of there's here's another rip up here and there's like a rip along his uh, neckline there was so much attention put into um every aspect of this design which again adds to the impressive quality of this overall piece it's just a great piece um, and then, of course, you've got the face, which is just terrifying. Like he's just like pissed, and he's got the whited out eyes, and he's ready to kill, and he's like baring his teeth, which are done exceptionally well as well. As well, like it's got he's got like the the uh, like the saber tooth teeth because he is a saber tooth, of course. Um, and uh, and then there's like veins on his neck, and the hair is done really well. I don't know, folks. Like I don't know if, if you can get much better than this as far as like a saber tooth statue. So uh, this was this is my saber tooth statue of choice. But recently I've decided I think I want to get the original costume variant of this because I really love that snowy base they did and I do like the original costume. Um, so I think I might eventually pick that one up. Uh, but b basically all four saber tooth statues created by Bowen Designs are great. All of them. They're all great. Like they, a lot of attention to detail was put into all of them. A lot of they're all produced um, in the in the highest quality that possible, which is what you expect from you know this sort of caliber uh, merchandise for you know one of your favorite characters. Um, 
So it, it, whatever Sabretooth statue you might choose to get, if you only choose to get one, if you choose to get one at all, um, they're all going to work for you. Uh, if, you're, if you're a fan of the Ultimate Universe or just a fan of very unique and well-crafted statues, this is definitely the Sabretooth statue to get um, if, you're, if you have to choose one. I, I recommend it highly, and, and it's definitely my choice. And that's why it's the only Sabretooth statue I currently have. Um, of course, that will change at some point in the near future. Um, uh, Sideshow Collectibles actually did a premium format figure Sabretooth, which is actually very cool as well. The only problem with that is that it has a uh, fabric costume, which kind of looks like pajamas. It's unfortunate. I don't like that look. Some people do, but I, I did buy that statue, and then I wound up getting rid of it um, because it just I kind of felt like it. Um, just it like kind of it looked kind of silly, and it was also going to be difficult to kind of keep clean. If you don't have a glass case for those statues that have sort of those fabric costumes, like they're going to wind up, uh, I think, wearing down pretty pretty quickly. So it's just not a good idea if you're not planning on putting them in a glass case that's airtight. Um, but beyond that, the, the design of that statue is fantastic, and I've actually seen people uh, take that statue that that uh, Sideshow Collectibles created and remove the fabric and just kind of paint the the actual sculpt below it which is which is an, an appropriately sculpted um uh physique which uh looks great it, it wound up looking great um so if 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 you want a one quarter scale statue of sabretooth that's actually a way to go is to get that statue and you don't like the fabric just get it off find a customizer have them um strip strip off that the fabric and then kind of like uh paint in the the actual uh, the rest of the body um, it, it came out really nicely um, but there are you know like three versions of that then that's the tiger stripe version of the costume the 90s x-men Jim Lee version so if again if you're not interested in that particular version there is an original costume version of this statue but this is definitely the statue to get if you're just looking to get a really cool saber tooth statue he's menacing and he's beautiful he just Beautiful as far as like just a great sculpt, like just beautifully done, just fantastic. And he's got this kind of elevated base as well. And I don't know, there's a lot of, I mean, it's like a terrifying sort of piece that captures like him in a very menacing way. And it, and some people have actually commented online that they don't want to get him because he actually scares them. <laughs> um, but beyond that, it's just, it's a really elegant piece. And it's funny that you have like this elevated base that just kind of puts it in, in kind of elevates it and and and, uh, and sort of has that elegant touch to it, given that it's such a terrifying character. It's a, it's a nice contrast, is what is the point I was trying to make there. Uh, it's a beautiful contrast. Again, super great aesthetic um, overall effect um, from every aspect of the statue, and I highly recommend it. There are some still out there. Um, uh, initially, it was thought that this might be like a hard to find item, but fortunately, because there are plenty of saber tooth statues out there it's still somewhat easy to find even though it was released two years ago so at reasonable prices so if you want it go go get it it's out there but like any statue that's of this caliber that is so well detailed and and is going to wind up you know in, as a permanent fixture in in hardcore collectors collections eventually this will be hard to find i have no doubt about that because it is just so wonderful i know i just keep saying the same thing over again i love it i can't help it i love this terrifying killing animal freaking mutant uh classic character I, I i can't help it all right folks that is the end of my introductory video into the ultimate or street clothes version of Sabretooth by bowen designs released in 2011 uh, thank you for checking out my blog, uh, X-Men Statues of Future Past .com. Thank you for checking out my YouTube channel, which is Dr. Remy LeBeau. Unofficially, it's Dr. Remy LeBeau's x Lair. And as always, X in the box, because ain't nobody checking me. Stay tuned for lots more wonderful X-Men statue action coming your way very soon, and y'all take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.